Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be showing you the Trials Shotgun. In my last video I showed you the Trials SMG. And today I'm going to be showing you the Trials Shotgun. It's called Motion to Vacate. Let's get right into it and have a look at it, shall we? It's a lightweight frame shotgun, so that means it gives you plus two mobility. And uh, it has good handling, you move faster when this weapon's equipped. Um, going on to the barrel options, they, again, with, like the SMG, they've kind of scrapped the barrel options. And instead they've given you a bunch of different perks so extended mag flared mag well and swap mag um, for pvp obviously these two are pretty useless because you're never really going to have a full magazine most of the time it's kind of useless so swap mag is the perk you would go with basically means once you've finished all your shotgun ammo you can quickly swap to your back to your other weapon you then have a choice between side shot and moving target personally i mean i know that people have done shotgun testing in the past and shown that side shot doesn't actually do anything in terms of increasing your range. Um, I haven't messed around with it myself, but um, yeah, because of that, I feel like um, moving targets is a better option to go with because obviously you're gonna be uh, aiming down sights all the time with the shotgun. And uh, when you do that with this with this perk, you get increased movement speed and aim assist. So it seems like the obvious choice really for me. And then the final perk is opening shot, improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of attack. That's interesting to have this perk on a non-precision shotgun but i found that it does make a uh, difference i think when you store the weapon and then draw it out your first shot will have more range um have a look at the stats it's basically just like a retro futurist or a hawthorns um actually what i will do if you give me one second um i think i have both the hawthorns and a retro futurist in my vault so i'll just quickly transfer them over from dim give me a moment Okay, so yeah, there we go. We've got our Retro Futurist. And any second now, then we'll transfer over a Hawthorne's Field Forge shotgun too. There it is. Now, personally, I'm not really a fan of these shotguns. I don't use them very much. But yeah, we can compare them here. As you can see, it has more range than Retro Futurist. Um, less stability and handling, but that, that's really irrelevant on a shotgun. And then Hawthorne's, you can see, has more range and it has full auto. So, you know, plus a little bit better rate of fire. These two both have slightly better rate of fire. But the difference that this thing has, it has, you know, moving target and opening shot. So this thing has better perks overall, but then these guys have better stats in different departments. To compare it to the hand in hand, you can see hand in hand has way more range. And you can see the same thing with unification. It has significantly more range. Um, so not my type of shotgun, but if you're like a newcomer to shotgunning, you're not like an experienced shotgunner. Um, these types of shotguns are good to start with just to get into it and you know start feeling comfortable with the shotgun So if you're a beginner shotgun, I would probably recommend using it. Is it worth grinding for? Mm, probably not But if you're a collector and you decide to get all the guns then you know it's worth going to trials I think you get this for turning in five packages and then the SMG is actually ten packages So it's pretty much the easiest one to acquire And yeah, I've got a rumble gameplay for you guys. I managed to get a rerun out of medals and a sum of all tiers it was a pretty uh, interesting lobby and uh, we had some fun. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace. Rumble.
in first place. available at teespring.com there'll be a link in the description i'm also streaming live right now on twitch at shake 17 so if you want to watch me live head over to twitch.tv forward slash shake 17 and also don't forget to hit the notification bell on youtube if you want to keep up to date with all of my uploads so yeah merchandise and the twitch channel check them out check them out thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time